Hi everybody, it's Janine here. Welcome to my channel. Um, as much as I enjoy, love working with lace and fabric, different textures, I also enjoy, enjoy a variety of other different techniques. I enjoy mixed media. I especially enjoy uh, paper, pro paper crafting as well. And one of my favorite paper collections are, without a doubt, from Graphic 45. And what with it being almost Halloween time and YouTube having all kinds of videos with people uploading their Halloween projects, I decided that I was going to share my album I made using Once Upon an Eerie Tale. I made this album a while ago, but it seems fit to show it now at this particular time. So there we go. Um, I used, it's a bit of an unusual shape. I had this shaped album, I think a friend gifted it to me and I thought, why not? I have it, I might as well use it. And I made extras, I made several extra pages into the album. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pages including the cover. My I've bound the album with ring binder and I've covered covered it as much as I can with ribbons and fibers and bits of fabric and so on. The cover I used the name of the paper collection and I love this rubber skeleton I have going on here. There's a little cluster of goodies and you just love that eye peeking out at you over there and guys look underneath oh there's a spider oh I do not like spiders and touching this album I keep glancing in there and then I ooh, you know it just gives me oh, it looks so realistic in the corner there you know it just gives me a thrill shudder rather than a throw. So that's my cover and so I'm going to set it down here so that we can yeah there we go yeah so the first page is quite simple uh, you, there's a die cut these two are die cuts the tree and the gate and of course you can slide your photograph underneath there there's a little fabric embellishment on this page we have a pocket, we have some pockets underneath this flower, you know all these are cutouts from the paper collection where it isn't I will say, but I'm not going to say every time that's from the paper collection because you know, and I'll just show you the various pockets and techniques that I've used. These are also die cuts up here, there's a spider, so that lifts up, obviously under all the uh, embellishment you can slide your photograph um, over there that's one flap next flap and in here there are two tags from the 12 by 12 uh, paper pad and it closes and it slides behind the little cluster here in the corner next page um, we have again one of those tags from the collection. I love how it says Howl at the Moon, so I have a moon there and some stars over there. This flaps open, and again, once upon this can come out, once upon Eerie Tail, and you have that cat over there. It's glued down, it can't, the cat can't come out, and some embellishments in the corner. This one as well um, opens up. Like that, and you have these little tags in there. That's for a photograph as well. Little tag over there. Same on the other side. Boo. 
and you know it just seals and of course you have the key and uh, it needs to be flattened and you have the key which opens the door and you know you just it stays closed and on this page I have a side pocket some tags slides in there with your photograph on this side you know, something hidden underneath this is called an hour and so on. We have a little pocket, extended pocket going there, and a, and a secret pocket and that just slides underneath over there. I love these owls, they're so cute in the skull. This page as well. Oh, I didn't glue this down. I was playing around with this if I wanted it there or not. Um, in here, we have some more cut into tag shapes. So that goes in there. This one is from Hello. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, Alice in Wonderland or. Halloween or what even and I'll sh I'll tell you later on. So this is not from the Yerito, it's something else somewhere else. So when you another paper collection. So when you open the ribbon, I made a little witch's broom there. Isn't that cute? Oh then so that's down and it opens up. And there we go. This is the paper collection I've been talking about, Halloween in Wonderland. So, and there's the rabbit, and over oh yeah, here with Alice with a broom in there as well. Photograph. So, and then you just okay, it goes like that. Oops, that's in there. So we'll try that later. Um, over oh yeah. here. Let me lift it up so you can see this pocket feature. So it goes like that. My friend made this feature. Um, look at that, it's gorgeous. And you have some of the images over there. Turn over, and you the same thing here. You know, you did you have that? Uh, like uh, I lift it up. You have the. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm not having it at a good angle yet. Let me just close it again and try again. There we go. So, when you pull the two t the tabs, this is what happens. So, we'll push it back in. I hope I can do it on camera. There we go. So, they go back into their hiding place. And. Again, all over the paper collection. So on this side, I did something interesting as well. So, um, first of all, you have these two little tags in there. And another two tags slipping in there. And then this one opens. And this one opens. This one goes in the little pocket over there, and that one is that one's tag. In the top. there we go. Even down here, you can put your underneath in there. It's it's open for little notes or goodies, and take the paper clip, close it, which I am sure I'm going to struggle doing it on camera always give it a go no let's try it we'll do that I'll do that later and just get that all in a way out of the way there we go on this page I have some basically I just took this page and flipped it over and the two images are the same and a photo mat and a tag and it just slides in there this one as well, just like a little booklet here, and a tag, so you can put images or photographs in there, and look at that, who's there, isn't that cute, 
and um, so here we go. And here we have zero. We have a pocket, just different pocket features to keep the tags. You know, so and they all slide in there. Have a, a ribbon and. I think this is an actual twig I used of, of a branch, dried it and used it to put the pumpkins on there. This one as well, it's just a pocket, but this one we have a little booklet here. Okay, and on the other side. I love this image, that just pops back in there. On this side, on this page we have um lots of different uh, cutouts from the paper collection and just have the tag sliding in there over here we have again some kind of different type of pocket i love designing all kinds of crazy pockets and especially hidden ones as well so that opens and we have scary and the, so that I've op designed it like this so it's only halfway it opens there's a pocket slide the tag in there and on that side you have, oh that's just an image and you put a, a, a photograph on there or just a journaling spot because that folds you know so we do it like that and here is another Deck from the paper collection. So, guys, that there you go. I hope I didn't bore you. I didn't want to spend too much detail on showing every describing everything of the paper collection because it speaks for itself. I love how it came out. Um, I have several images, uh, sorry, images, photographs I will be using. My daughter over the years as she went trick-or-treating and I'll be filling the book up with those pictures. So, first paper project I've been sharing and I appreciate you watching. Thanks for commenting and yeah, see you soon.